I'm back up in here with another reaction. I'm gonna keep, yeah, I'm gonna keep it up, man. Consistency is the key. I don't need, I don't need all the fancy stuff that I usually use. Um, I'm in a uh, undisclosed location right now, recording most of these videos. I'm in another studio, and um, I'm just back with more. So. I usually do not cover anything that has to do with relationships, husbands, wives. I feel like there's a platform and a medium for that, and I'm not that platform. Um, but I feel like in this case, this is more this is more about two rappers more than it being like a husband and wife sort of thing. So I'm gonna sum it up for you. So basically, um, obviously, Cardi B and Nicki Minaj do not like each other. That's pretty obvious. They've had quarrels. You know, they've, they've traded words online. They've had it out for each other in person. Yada, yada, yada. Um, so I don't know when it reignited or how it reignited, but um, I believe something reignited to the effect of... Uh, Something at the VMAs, I, I didn't really even read into it or whatever. But um, this is where the, the, the husbands start to get involved. So uh, the husband of Nicki Minaj, Kenneth Petty, uh, made a video with some goons and basically threatened Offset. Offset turns around and makes a video and says y'all boys is sweet and broke and I'm getting off the plane um, and then uh, Mr. Petty comes back and basically makes another video about showing DMs and, and saying uh, something about DMs with offset yada 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 uh, which brings us here. It's crazy how life works. So, after that little online turmoil between the two husbands, um, a federal judge has ordered Nicki Minaj's husband, Kenneth Petty, to serve up to 120 days on home detention for making threats making threatening remarks, excuse me, towards a specific individual while in the company of someone with a criminal record. Now, kids at home or people who don't understand that, basically what that means is he had some uh, some people with records around him and was making threats around with those people who have records around him towards somebody else. That's basically what that means. So, um, I believe he ha he's basically on house arrest after doing that, which, with, with, which he did online. Um, I don't know, man. Beefs with, with artists don't even really matter, to be, to be completely honest. Like, it's like, it, it doesn't matter at the end of the day when you're a fan of a certain artist because both of those artists are still going to be making money. What you going to be doing tomorrow? Like, do you care that much? Do you care that Beyonce, Beyonce had some random beef with Sierra? Do you care that ASAP Rocky was beefing with so so and so. Do you care that Drake, whoever he's beefing with or whoever he doesn't like, you're supposed to like? Like, what type of timing does that require? And does it make you any money when you when you when you decide to just because it's my favorite rapper and my favorite rapper doesn't like this rapper, I'm not gonna like him. All that energy 
you could have went in, you could have went and created something amazing, but you sitting up here riding for be riding and being a diehard uh, fan of an artist who probably, if they seen you on the street, wouldn't even double back and look at you if you if you hollered hollered their name or something like that. So I think this is just something that should have never spilled out publicly. You know, they it just should have been it just should have been something that shouldn't have been online like that. But you know, what can what you know, it's like what can I say? You know, it's the it, that's the way the internet works. The internet doesn't the internet can't function if there's no drama. You feel what I'm saying? If there's no drama, this internet would be boring slow and just tasteless if there was no drama you know it, it, like the internet forces you to see drama and beef you don't really care to see cause it's like so all over the place that you have no choice but to pay attention to it but hey that's what I think man what did you think? Drop it down in the comments. Please like, subscribe, um, leave your love, leave your hate, and I'll be back with more videos. Y'all have a good night.